Are you looking at getting a new embroidery machine? Then take a look at the features of the Brother NV880E. In this video I'll be doing an overview of the features of this machine to help you make an informed decision. Now this embroidery machine is packed full of easy to use features but just before we have a look at the features let's take a quick look at how it can be used. Embroider on garments, caps and hats on aprons and bags, personalized gifts, as well as a range of other useful items. Embroider on towels and bathroom accessories and create cushions and decor. Embroider photographs too. You can even use it for quilting and to create lace for personalized decorations or lace elements. Create badges and patches and much, much more. But just before we get into this video, welcome to the Sewn Craft channel. My name is Shireen Haynes. Being creative and teaching are my passions and I've been doing this full time since 1993. I post easy to follow step-by-step -step videos for sewing and craft and if you'd like to know when I post new videos please click on the subscribe button the little bell icon to be notified as well as the like button because this helps me to spread the word that sewing and crafting are fun thank you also please click on the link below this video to connect to my website for even more video lessons now let's take a look at the features of this machine. The machine is supplied with the largest hoop which is 26 centimeters by 16 centimeters. And then there are some optional extra hoops or frames in different sizes for embroidery. There's also a magnetic frame as well as a cap frame insert for embroidering caps. Now if you would like to know more about the cap frame insert then you can go to the link below this video to see a video on how this works. There is also a dust cover with a handy opening at the top so that you can access the carry handle of the machine. There is also an embroidery design guide that features full color pictures of all of the designs that are built in on the machine and then a little set of tools that you'll require for while you are embroidering. The bobbin cover is clear and it also has a magnifier so you can always see exactly how much thread you have left on the bobbin. There are also bobbin and upper thread sensors so the machine will always warn you before the bobbin thread runs out or if the upper thread breaks. Brother bobbins are taller so they hold more thread and this means less bobbin changes. To fill a bobbin is really easy, you simply press the start stop button, the machine will tell you it's winding the bobbin thread and once the bobbin is full you'll simply press the start stop button again. Threading the needle is also really easy, you simply follow the numbered guides on the machine, press the little lever and it will shoot the thread through the eye of the needle and you're ready to embroider. The machine has a full color touch screen with 258 built-in patterns, an extra large monogram set, 13 built-in fonts and 140 frame combinations. You can also save your favorite designs onto the machine and you can transfer designs onto the machine wirelessly as well as via a USB stick or a cable connected to your PC. To transfer designs wirelessly from your PC to your machine you can use the free Brother Design Database transfer software. Now everything that you will need to know about this machine is demonstrated in detailed step-by-step -step video lessons from Sew and Craft. The video lessons are supplied free if the machine is purchased from Sew and Craft. However, if you already own this machine and would like to purchase the step-by-step -step videos from Sew and Craft, see the link in the description box below this video. 
purchase the machine from Sewncraft, please see the website for shipping details and you'll get free step-by-step -step machine video lessons that are all about the machine. You'll also get free step-by-step -step machine embroidery video lessons with a sample kit of stabilizers used in the lessons. Then you'll also get a free embroidery editing program for your PC also with video lessons so that you can edit extra designs and enhance your creativity. Now let's take a look how to use a machine to embroider. First of all, the machine does have slide in hoops which lock in place so that they can't move. And then there's a hoop sensor that will detect the size of the hoop that's on the machine so that when you select a design, it will tell you whether that hoop will be suitable or not. Now to select a design from the machine is really easy because it is a touch screen. Now if you're not sure of what is in each of those categories, you can refer to the embroidery design guide because it will show you exactly what is in each of those categories that are built in on the machine. There are five categories of built-in designs that contain a total of 258 designs. And you can also import your own designs either via a USB stick, a data transfer cable or wirelessly. So there's no limit to what you can embroider. Now just before I select a design, let's do an overview of the five categories. Now you'll notice that if you click on a category, it will open up and give you subcategories. Now in the first subcategory, you're going to find that there are 18 pages of designs. Then in the next subcategory, you'll find a selection of buttonholes and there are three pages of buttonholes. And then in the next subcategory are elements that you can put on either side of those buttonholes. Then in the last subcategory, you're going to find eight pages of some special designs. Now if we go to the second category and open that, you'll see that there are 14 pages of beautiful designs. Now if we go to the third category, you'll see that when you open it, there are two subcategories. In the first subcategory, you're going to find a selection of large monograms. And then if we go back to the same category, but to the second subcategory, you'll see that there's another selection of large monograms. And here is an example of one that I have already stitched out. Now the fourth category is where you're going to find the fonts. So there are three pages of fonts which will include all 13 of the fonts that are built in on the machine. Now the last category has got 10 different shapes in it. Now each one of these shapes can be stitched out in 14 different stitch styles. So that is why you have a combination of 140 different shapes because you can stitch each one of those in 14 different styles. So let's select a design to embroider. So I'm going to go to category one and then I'll go to subcategory one and I know that the design that I want is number six. So I'm just going to scroll through until I get to number six and select it. Once I've selected it, I click set and then it's going to take me through to my editing screen. Now on the editing screen, I can move my design, I can resize it, I can rotate it, I could change colors inside that design, I could also mirror image the design, and then if I didn't want it there anymore, I could delete it. Now the other thing that I can do at this stage is even add another design. So if I wanted to add, for example, a name, I could add a name to this. If I wanted to add another design to create a combination, I could do that. I can even save this if this is something that I want to embroider more than once. So now once I'm finished doing all the editing, I'll simply click on Edit End to go to the next screen. 
Now the NV880E has an LED pointer foot and what this means is that it makes it really easy to see the starting point of your embroidery design because the machine is going to shine a little red light on the starting point. So I'm going to show you how that works when we get to embroider. I've activated the LED pointer foot and you'll see that there's a little red light that drops down onto the fabric. So that will be the starting point of my embroidery design. However, I have made a blue mark on my fabric where I would like my embroidery to start. So I'm simply going to move the machine until that little red light is on top of my blue dot and then I can start to embroider. Now just before I start to embroider, I can also ask the machine to map out the area by pressing on the little icon to map out where the embroidery is going to fit. So now I've made marks where that embroidery is going to fit so that I know that it is perfectly positioned on my fabric. Now we're ready to move on to the embroidery screen and there we'll see how many stitches there are in the design, how many minutes it's going to take to embroider, as well as how many colors there are. And it will line the colors up on your screen. Now once the first color has finished embroidering, that's gonna move up off of the screen and then the next color will move up to take its place. So you always know exactly what color needs to be threaded next in the sequence. Now that we're all ready to embroider, we're going to simply lower the press a foot and then we'll press the little green start button. Now just one other thing, just before I press the green button, once we've threaded the needle, you'll see that there's a long enough tail of thread so that when the machine starts to embroider, it's going to go down and link with the bobbin thread and cause a knot. And that little knot is going to ensure that your embroidery stitches do not come undone. So now I'm ready just to press the green button and start embroidering. Now once the machine has completed the first color, it will cut the threads off both at the top and at the bobbin. So it'll all be nice and neat. And then you'll be ready simply to thread the next color that is on the sequence on your screen. And then you'll lower the presser foot and then press the little green button to start with the second color. So now that I've completed all four colors and the machine has stopped, I simply unlock the hoop lever and slide the hoop out of the machine. And here I have my beautifully embroidered design and the NV880E cuts all of the jump stitches in between the colors so you don't have to tidy anything up afterwards either. Another very handy feature of this machine is that if there is a power outage while you are embroidering, the machine will remember where it was in the design and simply resume from there when the power is restored. Now let's take a look at the built-in fonts and how we can use them and edit them and also combine them with other designs. So if I go to the first group of fonts, if I select that, you'll see that I have the option of uppercase and lowercase. There's a set of numbers and special characters and special characters for different languages. Here I've just typed in a row of letters and we're going to look at resizing. Now you can enlarge or you can make your letters smaller in proportion. You can also make them shorter or taller from top to bottom. And then you can also make them wider or narrower from side to side. Now you can also rotate your lettering either 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. You can also 
rotate them one degree at a time or 10 degrees at a time. You can also adjust the density of your lettering. So depending on the type of fabric that you're working on, you might want to reduce the density or you might want to increase the density. So you are able now to adjust the density according to your fabric. There are several other editing options that we can apply and the first one is we can change the colors of our individual letters. We can change how the text is displayed. So instead of having it on a straight line, we could put the text on an outward curve or if we prefer, we can put it on an inward curve. We can also arrange the letters at an angle and we can change that angle too. The spacing between your letters can be adjusted. So you could increase the space between the letters or you could decrease the space and bring them closer together. So it's completely customizable. Words can be cut into sections simply by using the little knife tool. So once you have cut the word apart, you can then move the individual pieces to wherever it is that you would like them to be. Now once you have split the word and moved your letters, you can do further editing like for example changing the sizes of individual pieces, moving them around, rotating them as well as changing colors and all of the other editing functions. Here is a quick example of how to do a combination of embroideries. So I've typed a word and I want to add something and I can add any one of the designs from the built-in designs or even import my own if I like. But I've decided that I would like to do a frame. So I'm going to select the frame shape that I want and then I'm going to scroll through the different stitch types to see which stitch type I would like to stitch this in. So I select the one that I would like to use and then I'm simply going to go and set that. So now I can go and edit that if I like but I'm going to go ahead and embroider it. Here is the finished result of the lettering that is embroidered inside that circle with the stitch type that I had chosen. If you own any one of the Brother Scan and Cut models, you can use them to cut fabric for applique. All you would need to do is send an applique design from your embroidery machine to the Scan and Cut, and then the Scan and Cut will cut the applique fabric shape for you. Then you would simply take that cut piece of fabric and place it onto your background fabric and then the embroidery machine will finish off the raw edges of the fabric piece and even add in any other elements of the design too. If you would like a full colour brochure for this machine, please go to my website and click on the image of the NV880 machine and you can download one. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via the website too. Thank you.